the difference between a jab and a cross? True question. What's up, my ninjas? This is another episode of Karate Schooled, and you are about to get schooled. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is I'm gonna teach you how to throw your basic punches. So you have your jab, your cross, your hooks, and your uppercuts. You ready? Let's get started. All right, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Gabriela Corvina. I'm an actress and a mixed martial artist. I've been doing this for over 17 years. Uh, I'm a dojo baby, so I grew up in a dojo. Uh, I, at one point, my family used to own one of the largest martial arts schools in Texas, and uh, still un until this day, we are running a martial arts school in Texas. So today we're actually gonna be covering, once again, those basic punches. You have your jab, your cross, your hooks, and your uppercuts. Uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting, uh, show us how to do technique, show us how to uh, do this, do that. So I wanted to bring that to this channel, and that's something that I uh, have been doing for a long time anyway, so it kind of just felt fitting to do more of these technique tutorial videos. So. Let's go ahead and get into this and get into our first punch. But before we get into the punches, I actually have to cover a few things. Now, we have to talk about fighting stance. So fighting stance depends on what is your strong hand. Now, uh, different styles do different things, but I grew up primarily, uh, especially with the stand-up boxing, kickboxing, uh, we do strong hand in the back. So I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you're just gonna do the complete opposite of what I'm doing. If you're right-handed, follow along with me. So. You're gonna take your hands, you got your right hand. I'm gonna go based on my right side. I have my right leg. I'm gonna step back in my stance. Okay, now all I did was, once again, my feet are about shoulder width apart, okay? And all I do is step back and stagger off. Now what I want you to imagine is that your shoulders are pointed to the corner of the room. Right? Now, how do you know where your feet are supposed to go? Because footwork is a very important part of uh, stand-up fighting as well. So, let's take a look at these feet for a second. Now, what you want to do is your front foot, the toe should be lined up all the way to your back heel. Now, that means if this is out here, okay, it's not lined up correctly. If it's behind you, crisscrossed, it's not lined up correctly. So you want it hips facing the corner of the room, and front toe all the way lined up to the back heel feet, about shoulder width to double shoulder width. Okay, and that's how our feet are gonna go in our fighting stance. Now, I'm gonna bring my hands up top, hands next to the temples. How do we close our fists? We're gonna put our thumbs over our fingers like so. Don't do this, don't do this. This is how you break your fingers over and you want to close it as tight as you can okay fists are tight you're going to put your shoulders hunched up close to your ears everything is tight ball of energy here okay elbows are tight next to your rib cage hands are next to your temple chin is down you're looking up at your opponent okay and your body is side face meaning i'm not squared off to you this way okay i want to protect as much as this as i can so we want to stay sideways Okay, and that's our fighting stance. Now, let's get into the punches. Your very first punch that you're gonna learn is your jab. Your jab is your straight front hand punch. Straight front hand punch, okay? So how do you know front from back? In your stance, whatever foot is more closer to the direction that you're looking, that's the front foot. Whatever foot is behind the direction that you're facing, that's your back. Okay, same thing goes for the uh, hands as well. So we got our front, we have our back. Okay, so if you want to do this with me, go ahead and get into your fighting stance. Okay, and this is, this can be either called orthodox or if I switch, southpaw. Okay, so we're going to practice an orthodox. If you're southpaw, you stay there. Okay, so we're going to put our hands up, we're going to get into our fighting stance, and I do kind of want you up on your back toe slightly. Okay, so heel off the ground, that way you have energy to push off to move whenever you need it in this stance, okay? Knees are slightly bent, so don't lock, don't squat, okay? Knees are slightly bent. Let's get to this punch. Jab, your front hand straight punch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in my stance, okay? I wanna have a solid stance before anything else. What I'm gonna do is I wanna pretend like I'm looking down the barrel of a shotgun. My arm is the long barrel of the shotgun, okay? I'm pointing with my first two knuckles, at my target, OK, 
okay? I elongate my body, okay? Notice how long this is, okay? Almost like I'm pulling an arrow back here, okay? Long, long, long with your body, okay? And pointing with those first two knuckles and fist is closed tight. That is our jab. Now, jab is the only punch that you don't really need to move your feet, but you are gonna move your upper body and your hips. So you don't necessarily have to uh, do what's called a pivot. Okay, and I'll show you that with this next punch. But like I said, really the jab is all right here. Upper body twisting with your hips. Notice how when I extend, I unwind my body. Okay, the reason why we do that is to generate power and length in that jab. Okay, moving on. Your cross. Your cross is your backhand straight punch. Backhand straight punch. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay in our stance. Okay, so we just threw our jab. Notice how I unwind that body. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up my body because everything that comes from the back side, we're going to need to square off our shoulders. Okay, notice how I'm long with anything on the front side and I'm squared with anything that comes from the back side as far as punches go. Okay, now this is where we have to add in our feet, that pivot that I was talking about. Once again, jab is the only punch that you do not necessarily have to move your feet. Okay, so here's the first introduction to pivoting, is the cross. So we generate power from the ground up. That's why we have to do what's called a pivot, okay? We bring our hips forward. That's where we get our power from in our punches and our strikes, is that twist, is that pivot from the ground up. Because if I just use my arm, it's not as powerful, okay? I just have the strength of this, right? But if I put my entire body, that pivot, into that punch, you're gonna get more out of that strike, okay? So, the cross is the exact same thing as the jab. You're gonna throw it the same way, okay, straight out. But, watch what I do with my shoulders. I square, so I twist everything forward. I'm still aiming with my first two knuckles, okay? Everything is still tight, first two knuckles here, okay? And notice how my hips and my foot is pointed in the direction that I am striking. And that's our cross. It's our backhand straight punch. Notice how I also replace my hand, okay? If one punch is out, the other one is up protecting your face. All right, so once again, we have our jab and we have our cross. All right, okay. What's the difference between a jab and a cross? True question. <laughs> You have to pivot on your cross. And the cross comes from the back side, jab comes from the front side. Jab, you elongate, cross, you square. Okay? Two straight punches. Moving on, let's go into our hooks. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Hooks are probably the hardest punch to teach um, straight out. But what we're gonna do is we're still gonna aim with our first two knuckles, but now our fist is gonna be pointed this way. Okay, up and down as if you're giving a thumbs up, but don't actually punch like this, okay? So thumb still tucked, you're still gonna close your fist the same way, but now we're here. A lot of people punch this way. Um, I believe this causes a lot of wrist injuries. So that's not the way that I was taught. Uh, so we're gonna point our fist straight up when we strike. Um, also, it allows for these first knuckles to go first um, in this position rather than here because you can end up hitting your target with that pinky and that ring finger instead, which you don't want because those are the weakest links. And that's why I always say um, first two knuckles because those are the only two knuckles that are actually aligned with your forearm, okay, and your wrist. These other two fingers are and knuckles are off to the side, okay, they're not as strong. So we really want to just hit with those first two knuckles when you land a punch. Okay, so I'm in my fighting stance. I'm gonna show you guys from the front side, but the front and the back is thrown pretty much the same. The only difference is long and squared. Okay, so front side first. Front side, what I want you to imagine is that there's a table on your chest right here. Okay, I'm touching the table on my chest. Okay, right here in front of me. I'm gonna rest my arm and my fist all the way from my shoulder, elbow, wrist, fist on that table. Okay, that's your line. That's where you're gonna throw. This is the general hook to somebody's chin that you're, that's your same size, right? 
okay? So what we're gonna do is there's candy on the table. And I want you to scoop the candy with your fist and bring it back to your chest. Here's what this is gonna look like. Hands are up. I move forward first. I start pivoting my hips and I take my arm along that table. Here's the candy right here. I'm gonna scoop the candy, bring it back to my chest. On the table, scoop the candy, bring it back to my chest. That's your front hook. Same thing with the back side. Once again, you wanna pivot forward. Okay, on the table, scoop, back, scoop, and back. What is the only punch that you do not have to pivot your feet with? The jab. So with both of these hooks, I'm going to pivot, rotate my hips, okay? Energy from the ground up, okay? Last punch, uppercuts, okay? Uppercuts are probably one of the easiest punches to teach. All I want you to imagine is that you're gonna follow this line from your belly button to your nose, okay? So hands are up. We're gonna go straight up along that line, belly button to nose on your opponent and on yourself if you're working alone in a mirror, okay? So, same thing, we have to pivot. We have to go from the ground up. So we're gonna rotate inwards and come straight up. And again, from the back side, in, follow that line, and straight up, okay? And those are your uppercuts. Now notice, with none of these punches, I never pulled back and went here. I never brought my elbows up um, went before I threw. So I never winded up on those hooks and went here. I never winded up on those uppercuts and went here. Okay, the reason why we don't do that with our punches, um, a lot of people think it, it, it gives them more power and that's to the contrary. It wastes a lot of energy um, and you're also very vulnerable to strikes when you pull back away from your body. You wanna keep everything tight. Okay, it's faster, it's stronger, and remember you get your power from the ground up. And those are all your basic punches. You have your jab, your cross, your hooks, and your uppercut. I hope you guys liked this uh, tutorial on Karate Schooled and you guys just got school. All right, ninjas, if you like this video, make sure that you check out these other Karate School videos here and here, and subscribe right here and turn on post notifications. And if you don't, I'll punch you in the face. Just kidding.